Hi, I'm Jan Mosdale. I'm professor at the Institute for Tourism and Leisure at the University of the Applied Sciences of the Grisons in Switzerland, where I'm also director of studies for the first ever master's program on tourism and change. We are proud partners of the Transat project, which looks at the key future challenges that ski resorts and their communities are facing. And this could be linked to climate change or changing tourist behavior or changing expectations of second homeowners or locals alike. By creating scenarios and developing strategies, we're helping communities to uh, move or to transition towards a more sustainable type of tourism and hence to become more resilient. Transstadt is all about shaping the future of tourism, particularly in ski resorts and their communities. And we're doing this by strategic scenario development. And the Institute for Tourism and Leisure plays a crucial role in that aspect. But why is thinking about the future and developing scenarios so important? Well, futures thinking is a strategic approach to proactively think about what changes might be coming our way. And if we know the changes that are coming, we can anticipate these changes and we can develop strategies that fit those changes. So on the one hand, this is the reactive element to what the future might bring. And on the other hand, what is also important is to develop a preferred set of, of a future so that we can backcast and reach that particular future. So on the one hand, we have the reactive aspect towards potential scenarios. And on the other hand, we have the proactive future shaping aspect of developing a preferred future. At the Institute here at the US of the Grisons, we operationalize this approach in workshops in the living lab. So we, we develop a, a set of scripts that each living lab can, can follow to develop workshops in, in terms of creating scenarios, in terms of creating preferred futures and working towards these preferred futures. Hi, I'm Miriam Stuhlmüller and I'm a research associate at the Institute of Tourism and Leisure at the University of Applied Sciences of the Grisons. Another contribution of us to the project is to help the community of Bites think about their future and their future challenges. While the ski resort of Baltz reaches up to 3,000 meters, the topography means that it needs higher snow levels to cover the rocks at higher altitudes. A few years ago, Baltz has already undergone an economic and organizational restructuring since the financing of the cable car was no longer viable. All tourism activities um, were brought there together in a single organization responsible for tourism development in Baltz and the financing model of the cable car was also adapted to involve also local service providers and second home owners in addition to the local council. This previous trans transition shows the potential of the transfer project. Our work in the living labs is particularly um, exciting because it's a hand-on approach. Here we also collaborate with local stakeholders and test and refine the tourism strategies in a real-world setting. It's about co-creating solutions that are both beneficial and sustainable for everyone involved. But our approach goes beyond the involvement of the usual decision makers by also incorporating the local youth since they're an important stakeholder for the future of Wales. This is also particularly close to my heart since I'm a new USAB Youth Council member. At the Institute for Tourism and Leisure, we are passionate about making a positive difference to the tourism industry. And our involvement in the Transtat project is just one example of the positive change of the, of the difference that we're trying to make.